So we're going to be learning about the dissolved oxygen and how to do this test. Oxygen is really important. It's how fish breathe underwater. In places like harbors where we have things like sewage overflows, we can have really low dissolved oxygen, which means the fish can't breathe. In lakes and rivers, we expect in the high range between 7 and 12. So to do this test, we're going to take a, an ampoule out of our container. And what you're going to notice here is a white line. And this is a weak point in the glass. We also include this sample cup. And it's really important to have a look at the little ridges here. So what we're going to actually do when I have my sample is put the tip in one of those ridges and pull towards me. So in here is a vacuum seal and it's going to detect the oxygen in the water. It's really important for this test that you do the test quickly. The reason is, as soon as I bring the water up, it's being exposed to the air and the air has oxygen in it. So to get a really accurate reading, we want to do this quickly. Okay, so let's do our test. I always say have your cup in one hand and your ampoule in the other so that you're ready to go. So I'm going to reach in and as soon as it comes out, I'm going to put the ampoule in. It's going to be in a ridge here and I'm pulled towards myself. So it's not a push down, so it's filled up. And now I'm going to invert it two times. See the bubble going up and down and then up again. So now I'm going to set my timer for two minutes. While I'm waiting, what I usually do is I pour the water out. Now, the tip is still in there. So you're going to pour the water out super slowly so that the tip stays at the bottom. And then we'll dispose of that after. To get ready as well, I always take out my comparison chart. You're going to pull from the top. So when I do my comparison, I always start at the end and I put it right in between the comparison charts. Moving up, checking the angle. Some people find this really hard to do. So always work with a friend and you have to agree. It makes sure that you take the time to do this right. So in this case, our reading is between eight and 10. So we would record nine. And nine is what we'd expect for a lake like this. So now it's time to pack up. We're gonna put our chart in first. Under the nub, press down. We still have our little container here we need to dispose of and we have this. In older kits, we include our Whirlpack bags. You're going to open it up like this, your ampoule in there. In our newer kits, we're including a little container that you can put in your ampoule and shake in the little tip. And then we're done and you can pack up.